Okay, so in 2024, you're thinking like, oh, I want to start a blog. And guess what? The best way you can start doing this is looking at Pinterest, the most popular blog niches that do great on Pinterest. Because Pinterest is going to be your traffic driver for the at least the first year, and it could last many, many years. You don't want to start with other things like with SEO and other things because that's a big challenge. It takes almost six months to 10 months to a year and years to really get some traffic from Google. So Pinterest is where it's at. And why not align your whole blog strategy to Pinterest? Why not find popular Pinterest blog niches that you can start and grow on Pinterest? What you would find on Pinterest that's popular is not deemable on Google. So for example, the first one is health, lifestyle, healthy living. Think of that, what that encompasses, healthy eating, healthy habits, healthy meditation, healthy gut bacteria, healthy journeys, things like that. All of that encompasses healthy lifestyle. You can do well on Pinterest with that topic. My only caveat to that is I would try to have some credibility talking about these lifestyles, whether you're a, a health coach, whether you are a dietitian, a nurse, things like that goes a long way with Pinterest just to cover all your bases. You don't want to be a stay-at-home mom that is healthy, that knows how to cook granola and things like that, and then start a health site. It's going to be hard to get noticed on Pinterest. I just wanted to show you some topics here that you can write about. So if you type in health lifestyle or lifestyle health, if you see bubbles underneath, that means it's a popular topic that you can write about specific to women, fitness tips for women, the aesthetic lifestyle, how to improve it, create some infographics because that's its own bubble about it. So this is an infographic right here. You can talk about food. You can just talk about different health lifestyle quotes. That's also a big uh, topic and you can write about it. It's the one of the first ones here which means it's super popular to, for people to save those quotes. Another thing you want to look at is the trends. Is this a trend worthy topic? If we look on trends here, healthy lifestyle by itself, that term is not very popular, but if you look at the motivation aspect, if you create content around healthy motivation aspects, that's on the uptick. Another one slightly here is the aesthetic. So you can definitely get some ideas here. This one's sort of on the uptick, which is the quotes. So there you go. You have some topics that you can start writing about and every month things will change and you'll see like these are popular. I'm going to lean my blog strategy that way. The next popular blog niche that you can start in 2024 to help you get Pinterest traffic is parenting. Parenting is a huge topic. So you can see there are tons of bubbles underneath. And so you can look at those bubbles and you can narrow down your pillars on your blog. You can focus on the skills for kids. You can focus on hacks. You can focus on the relationship with your daughter or the baby stuff, right? There's a lot to go with, but you can see here how to discipline your kids without crushing their hearts, how to make your child a positive person, habits to present of uh, present moms. These are all things that pinners like to see. Seven things every daughter needs from her mom, all of that stuff. You can see how the pins are showing what pinners want and you can align your topic that way. So if we go to Pinterest trends, type in parenting, you can see that this one right here, parenting knowledge is going on the uprise and advice is pretty common. It's just stable. And then parenting teens might be a nice little subset area that you can get into. Right, so you can look at that and see if any of this works for you for the parent niche. The next blog niche topic is home decor. Anything that's visual does well on Pinterest. So you can see here, I don't know why this is um, under home decor, but this is my pin. It's under home decor. Um, with home decor, again, lots of bubbles. So you can have living room ideas, Western ideas, dark romantic ideas, rustic ideas on a budget, inspiration, DIY stuff, and then like different types of material. It even nests down to different types of materials here and by occasion by style there's lots here so home decor is a huge niche in pinterest and that's why my niche website went from cleaning topics to more home decor topics because i found it such a bigger niche to have for my blog 
So you can see here outdated home trends, ways to make your home more cozy. You have just stylized pictures of people's homes that people like to save. Ideas to add to your work desk, aesthetic rooms you can copy on a budget, 13 ways to create a peaceful home, lots of different ways decluttering your bedroom lots of different topics that you can write about under home decor so let's just look and see what we have here so wow look at home decor topic is just on the rise this one home decor ideas living room on a budget is reaching its peak here same thing with a bedroom so you can definitely lean on those ideas currently even style is it's calming down but you can probably still lean on that topic as well the next niche is organizing or cleaning again lots of bubbles so that tells you it's a popular topic it even nests down here and here so there's lots to focus your content around just cleaning and organizing like i said i started with cleaning and organizing but i found home decor more popular so i have all of these topics on my niche website Website. So I'm grabbing from those two buckets, but people seem to really like uh, checklists. You can see a lot of checklists here. People seem to like speed cleaning and they like hacks. They want quick things to do for cleaning. So that tells me that that's what I would produce for my audience. But you can focus on rooms of the house mostly on the kitchen and laundry room and the entryway. Those are all very popular topics on Pinterest. So if we do so we just do organize, then I have an uptick for organization, have an uptick on just those ones, organizing, organization, and then organizing ideas for the home, ideas, hacks, pantry, oh, an uptick on closet. So those are all popular topics that you can focus your content around. The next blog niche that's popular for 2024 that will get you Pinterest traffic is saving money. Money topics in general do well on Pinterest, but it's not a big, big topic. There aren't categories about money. There might be for saving money, not for making money. Budgeting is probably a topic on Pinterest because I see budget here. And then it looks like paychecks and challenges seem to do well on Pinterest. So if you have a blog and you want to talk about save money, say you have some credibility behind that, then look to Pinterest to see what's popular. People, again, they like these challenges. So how to do the 52 week $5 challenge, how someone saved $24,000 in seven months, from one income, saving tips that nobody talks about, how to pay off $30,000 in debt in 10 months. So you can see the topics is how to do this in this amount of time, do well in the saving money topic here. For trends, we can see uptick for saving money, for the aesthetic, and then just stable here for all of these, how to save money on low income, ways to save money, how to save money fast, and how to save money. Those are the basics for trends on Pinterest that you can write about and you can write about different topics around that. So, you know, different ways to say for saving money, like saving money tips for a rainy day, the ultimate guide to save money using a, your checklist template that you have. One fast way to save money, you know, so that you can go on that vacation. Those things you can sort of uh, align for your blog audience that would do well on Pinterest. Another popular blog niche is the college dorm life. This is a huge topic with young Gen Zers, basically. Like their young people here are using Pinterest. They like to style their dorm rooms rooms, all of that. And you can grow massive traffic this way. So you can see here, there's lots of bubbles here uh, with the furniture, with the style, the ideas, the room, there's lots to go by with college dorm life. You can do on a budget, you can do organizers, essentials, hacks, lots of things here. So with college dorm, we have an uptick for decor, a little one. There's a checklist here uptick for room inspiration. Just with college, we have upticks for college, aesthetic, and that's basically it. And the next one that sort of coincides with college is having your first apartment. So those two niches work well. This is my uh, pin for my niche website is doing well with this topic too. So I'm leaning in on that topic as well. So not only am I leaning on home decor and cleaning, but I'm leaning into that first apartment topic as well because I see the potential here. There's lots to go from with room, ideas, project style, all of that. And if we look at first apartment, also first apartment is a tag on Pinterest as well. So you can tell that that's a popular topic. They have goals, grocery list, aesthetic here. First apartment in general is going up. So there's lots of here that you can write about. And the last blog niche that's popular on Pinterest is 
crafts. So anything with crafts, sewing crafts, knitting, paper crafts, all of that do phenomenally well on Pinterest. And if you do have something like an Etsy store or you sell some kind of templates for these crafts then you can definitely market heavily on pinterest like this is etsy right here you can link your etsy store products here on pinterest very easily so this is a nice way to generate income as well as get lots of views to your pins so this is my twins mommy pin here about things you can make and sell so even if it's not a craft related it's more marketing related i'm still up there with the crafts here but there's lots here you can focus on hello kitty templates cards ideas uh, decoration printables right now christmas is a big thing you can really reap the benefits on holiday stuff so easter summer stuff even fall crafts and then christmas really throughout the year you can have a lot of um, ideas and potential for blog traffic and for income and what's nice is that you can also do videos like here's a running video right here on how to make a mini hat which is super cute so you can create these little videos and post them on pinterest as well so those do well to catch the eye too when your people are scrolling down so this person is just knitting here see so there's a lot of potential for these niches now if you are struggling to start a blog over on twins mommy you can go to start grow earn right here and it is my step by step only six days to start your blog tips to grow and tips to earn on your blog find that niche that i talked about for pinterest marketing start that type of blog and then you can take this course to get more ideas i also have a video on what to do on your first month so make sure to check out that video next and let me know in the comments below what your blog niche is going to be what you want to focus on and I can let you know if it's going to be popping on Pinterest or not <laughs> because I want people to focus more on Pinterest than on SEO and I will come up with another video to talk about my SEO strategy and how that's changing but for now let's work on Pinterest and to get that traffic up for your new blog so let me know in the comments below what niche you want to start and like this video and make sure to check out that next video after this